I'm Ragad Bazizi for CMS TV, bringing you today's news. In the UK news headlines, Mark Bridger, the convicted killer of five-year-old April Jones, refuses to reveal where her body is. A man is questioned on suspicion of murdering missing teenager Georgina, Georgia Williams, and Southwark Coroner's Court opens the inquest into the death of drummer Lee Rigby. After convicting 47-year-old Mark Bridger for abducting and murdering five-year-old girl April Jones, Bridger is to serve a whole life prison sentence, but it is still unknown where April's body is following the largest police search for a missing person in police history. April's mother, Coral Jones, told The Sun newspaper during an interview, It's the not knowing that's the hardest part. It's my worst nightmare come true. She also said, We haven't got a body to give April a proper burial and that breaks my heart. April went missing the 1st of October 2012. A 22-year-old man in Glasgow was initially arrested for the alleged kidnap of Georgia Williams, but is now being questioned on suspicion of murdering the missing 17-year-old from Shropshire. Georgia Williams was last seen on the 26th of May, and over 50 detectives are working on the case. The hearing for the inquest into the death of drummer Lee Rigby opened today and was adjourned after just five minutes. A post-mortem examination has confirmed that Rigby died from multiple cut and stab wounds after he was hacked to death in Woolwich last week. The Deputy Coroner, Lorna Tagliavini, adjourned today, today's hearing pending further investigations. And a missing seven-year-old boy from Worcester has been found safe after he went missing on a family camping holiday in the Cotswold. He was reported missing on Thursday evening from Thistledown Farm in Nymphsfield near Stroud in Gloucestershire and found at around 6.50am the following morning. Police spent the night searching for the boy. And far-right groups such as the EDL and the BNP are planning over 50 demonstrations this weekend across England with anti-racism groups labelling Saturday as a day of hate. The events are thought to have sparked from the murder of British soldier Drummer Lee Rigby. Coming up, today's international news, and for the headlines, a British national has supposedly been killed in Syria, the family of the Chechen man shot dead by the FBI formally request a federal inquiry, and the incident of the baby trapped in the sewer pipe in China has been ruled as an accident. So stick around for more on the news, sport and weather. There are 8,760 hours in a year. Are you able to give just three hours of your time to be at the Holiday Inn Express Harlow on the 8th of June? At our event, you'll be able to take the stage and make your business stand out as you connect with the right crowd. You'll be able to engage your audience as you network and share and learn how to increase your profit. At the Business Share Networking Forum, we'll show you how you can save time and money and increase your income using our leverage and tools. With our unique marketing tools, you'll be able to increase your brand awareness. Just watch your business soar when you join our support and startup teams. You can connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and LinkedIn. Register now for our next event on June the 8th, 2013. This is going to be held at the Holiday Inn Express Harlow and we'll be starting at 10 a.m. So, register now, it's completely free. To register, go to www.businessshare.com. We'll see you there. Welcome back to CMS News. In today's international news, the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights has said that a man with a British passport a US woman and another man may have been killed in Syria. They said that their man may have been working with Syrian rebels. The Foreign Office are investigating these claims and attempting to verify the authenticity of the British passport. And the family of Ibrahim Todashev, the man shot dead by the FBI, are claiming that he was completely unarmed and are requesting a federal inquiry. Todashev was being interviewed by the FBI in Florida last week over his connections with the Boston bombing suspects when he was shot seven times, once in the head, by the FBI. And the mother of Baby 59, the rescued baby that was trapped in a sewer pipe in China, will not face criminal charges after concluding that the incident was an accident. The baby is now reported to be under the care of its grandparents. 
And now for the latest news in the world of sports, uh, Bradley Wiggins may have to miss the Tour de France due to a knee injury, leaving the triple Olympic gold medalist unable to defend his title. The 32-year-old has an inflammation in his left knee and has been reported to be unable to train properly. And fears that the England versus Brazil match wouldn't go ahead have been squashed after Judge Adriana Costa de Santos reversed her ruling that the Mar Maracana Stadium in Rio de Janeiro was unsafe. The game will continue as planned with the stadium being granted a safety certificate. And the sporting director of Paris Saint-Germain, Leonardo, has been given a nine-month ban for barging at a referee at the end of a home match in May. The French League committee concluded that Leonardo deliberately shoved Alexandre Castro, although Leonardo claims this was accidental. That's it for the sports news. On to today's weather. After a cloudy and dull start to the day, breaks of sunshine will be seen as the clouds start to lift later on this afternoon, with the temperature heating up to 21 degrees Celsius with light winds. Later this evening, clouds will be likely with temperatures averaging around 16 degrees. Thank you very much. This has been CMS News with Bragad Bazizi. Stay tuned for the business news with Ayat Khayat. <laughs>
American demand fell 12% per, 12 over the same time. Now moving on to some other news, Samsung has announced that they will be making an S4 Mini, a slimmed down version of Samsung's flagship smartphone. The Mini will have a 4.3 inch display screen comparable to the iPhone's 5's 4 inch screen and weigh 3.77 ounces, a pip lighter than the iPhone's 3.95 the Galaxy S4 has a 5-inch screen, while Samsung's Galaxy Note 2 phablet has a whopping 5.5-inch display. The company confirmed that the Mini will be one of the products rolled out at a Samsung event in London on the 20th of June. And some other news, Lloyds has raised another £3.3 billion as it continues to strengthen its reserves and dispose of assets that are not part of its main UK banking business. The bank, which is 39% owned by the taxpayer, has sold a portfolio of U.S. mortgage-backed investments. Lloyd's has been under pressure from regulators to boost the amount it lends to U.K. households and businesses since its 2008 bailout by the government. Lloyd said this latest sale would boost its core reserves by about £1 billion. The bank also said the deal would also give it a pre-tax gain of 540 million pounds. And lastly, other news. According to the official figures, unemployment in the Eurozone has reached another record high. The seasonal adjusted rate for April was 12.2%, up to 12.1% the month before. An extra 95,000 people were out of work in the 17 countries that use the euro, bringing the total to 19.38 million. One in four people in Greece and Spain are now unemployed. The lowest unemployment rate is in Austria at 4.9%. The European Commission Statistics Office, Eurostat, said Germany had an unemployment rate of 5.4%, while Luxembourg's was 5.6%. The highest rates are in Greece, 27% in February 2013, Spain, 26.8%, and Portugal, 17.8%. In the 12 months to April, 1.6 million people lost their jobs to the Eurozone. While the jobless figure in the Eurozone climbed for the 24th consecutive month, the unemployment rate for the full 27-member European Union remained at 11%. Thank you for watching. This is the Business News at CMS TV. I'm Ayat Khayat.